It is serious and it is highly unusual as well to have a charge of treason. It all goes back to Christmas Day of 2021. The Queen was spending Christmas at Windsor Castle. It was, as we now know, to be her last Christmas. She was waiting for members of the family to gather at the castle when just after eight o'clock, Jaswan Singh Child was arrested and found in the grounds of the castle. It's thought he'd used a nylon rope ladder to scale an outer fence and make his way inside. He told police officers at the scene, I am here to kill the Queen. He was reportedly wearing a, a mask and a hood and carrying this crossbow, which was loaded with a bolt and with the safety catch off. off. Now, just moments before he was arrested, we understand he'd posted a video to around 20 people explaining how he had this intention to assassinate the Queen. And today, from Broadmoor Hospital, he pleaded guilty to all of those three charges, the most serious under the Treason Act of 1842, of attempting to injure or alarm the sovereign, also pleaded guilty to a second charge of possession of an offensive weapon and a third charge of making threats to kill. He spoke today only to confirm his name and to enter those guilty pleas, and he will be sentenced, we understand, on the 30. 1st of March. Like I say, treason is really unusual. The last time someone was jailed for treason was back in 1981. It was Marcus Sargent, and he was found guilty after firing blanks at the Queen during Trooping the Colour. But this whole case has raised some wider issues. Firstly, the availability of offensive weapons like crossbows, and also one about the security of members of the royal family. How was it that a member of the public could make their way into the grounds of Windsor Castle carrying a weapon that was loaded with the intent, as he said, to kill the Queen?